until you come to a stop and as you look around now tell me how you sense or do you feel that you're on your own look around and describe what's happening no, I feel like I've been taken to a tribe, like my tribe. It's your soul tribe. Mm -hmm. So how many are in your tribe? Is there two, ten, two hundred? There's quite, there's like, I'd say fifteen. Fifteen. 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is the purpose of your tribe? What does your group actually work on? They've got, like, markings on their face. They look like native Indians. And they've got different, like, they look like instruments. They're like holding instruments, like sound instruments. Holding instruments. So you work on the energy sound, vibration, to heal? Yeah. And as you glance around this group, you'll be more affiliated with one of that group. So I just want you to cast your eye very slowly around this group until you gently settle on one particular soul. Ask them to step forward and describe that soul to me. He's an older man, like he, he feels like a granddad. Mm -hmm. And ask him what message he provides you from your soul group. He's like handing me, it's like this big long instrument, it's like the water sound instrument, I don't know what it's called, but it makes mm -hmm. that like tricking water sound. Ask him what's the reason for that. He tells me to use it. Uh-huh. Is he asking you to use that in your work now? He said to use it for healing. To use it for healing. Thank you very much for that message. Well, I want to close the scene to the soul realm now. So bid your family goodbye and farewell. Because I really now want to connect with your inner self and your subconscious mind. So as I continue to talk, what I want you to do, Katja, is I want you to take a deep breath and I want you to imagine that you're just stepping to one side of your body. Just allow your inner self, all those memories in the subconscious mind to come forward so that they can work with your voice. Good evening, inner self. Are you male energy or female energy? Female. Female. Is this your first life with my client? No. Mm -hmm. How many lives have you had? Three. Three. So what is it that you're working together? What have you contracted to do with each other? Heal. Heal. Mm -hmm. How's she doing? Very good. Mm -hmm. Well, I want us to do a body scan now so that we can check this vehicle that she's working from. So I want you to start at the top of the head as if you've got x-ray vision. Start at the top of the head and just slowly glance your eye and your feelings all the way down this body, down the head and the shoulders down into the torso and the heart and the tummy through those thighs down the legs knees all the way down to the ankles and the toes and we're looking for anything that may just be out of line so let's do that again from the tip of the toes just x-ray vision gliding your senses up that body is there anything we can work on in that body today? My stomach area and my heart. A stomach and heart. Mm -hmm. So let's start with that heart area. 
inner self, what I want you to do is I want you to go into that heart area. And as you now begin to connect with that heart area and feel its energy and vibration, tell me how is it performing? It needs to open. It needs to open. Mm -hmm. What has caused it to close? Hurt mm -hmm. and anger. Betrayal. As the inner self talking to your client, what would you say to your client about this? Hurt, anger and betrayal. To let it go. To let it go. Mm -hmm. So it was a lesson, not a life sentence. Mm -hmm. Yes. And is that where she's holding all this hurt, anger and betrayal in her heart? Yes. It just feels like it can't be opened, like they're trying to open it, but it keeps on like slamming shut. Mm-hmm. So what I want you to do now then, inner self, I want you to go into that heart area and I want you to imagine that you're putting a white light around this heart area. See that light energy now around that heart area, softening the heart so that you can work with it. And I'm also going to call on Goddess Isis, who is the Paragon Mother of Virtues, to help you release those conditions that no longer serve you, so that you can move forward, so that you've got a new opportunity to begin over without the chains of the past. So in a self now, what I want you to do is I want you to go into those, that muscle of the heart now, and gather round all that anger, all those memories. See those fragments of anger and hurt. Start gathering them up for Goddess Isis. And as you begin to gather them up, she will be helping to create loving relationships through the power of forgiveness, compassion, and acceptance and through this forgiveness and acceptance your spiritual development will grow see yourself gathering up all of those memories now and I want you to pass all those memories now all that emotion that doesn't serve her to goddess Isis knowing that she will support you in clearing away all that past life that's hindered your process. And allow it now to take it back to spirit so it can be replenished and healed. And I'd like Archangel Gabriel now to come forward to guide you back on your path and your life purpose and your destiny. And as he works with the colour ray, yellow, this golden ray, I want you to imagine that this golden ray energy is pouring into your heart now, bringing you new beginnings and removing any of that fear-based energy that may be left. Thank you very much. So, in a self, tell me about... Um, Tell me about the stomach. What's going on there? There's, there's knots. Uh-huh. Okay. It's knotted. It needs to be unknotted. The stomach needs to be unknotted. Mm -hmm. So go into that area and describe to me 
I want you to go in there now and I want you to begin to unravel all those knots. See them as you're working with them, as you connect with love and energy, with the intention to heal. See how they relax. See how all those ties relax and begin to unravel now. Getting calmer, settling in the right place. Feel your circulation in that area becoming much more powerful. And tell me the reason for all these knots in the stomach. Why did she hold knots in her stomach? Pain. What kind of pain? Physical pain. Mm -hmm. Does she need to hold on to that anymore? No. Mm -hmm. Tell me, was this pain through love? and relationships? Yes, and also it feels like physical abuse, mm -hmm. like being beaten or something. I see. So what I want you to do now is I want you to go to that energy, that energy of that feeling of being beaten. And as all energy as consciousness, I want you to travel with that energy right to the root, to the cause of that energy. Is this a past life memory? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I want you to go traveling now with that energy all the way down to the root of this memory. And see that past life there. And tell me, is this her past life memory or is it someone else's? Seems like mine. Seems mm. like I was abused. Uh huh. Were you male? Beaten. Were you male or female in that life? Female. You were female. Mm -hmm. I want you to be an observer of that scene, and as I talk to you, that scene is getting stronger and stronger. So, who was it that was beating you? It was a male. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was a father figure. Mm -hmm. Well, I want you to connect with that father. I want you to, I want you to see the image of your father there, and I want you to connect with his eyes. And now I want you to look straight through those eyes into the soul and telepathically communicate and tell me, has that father figure had other lives with her? Who is he? Yes, I feel like he's my dad today. Mm -hmm. So what lessons did she learn from that? She just wanted to be loved again, but he kept on like beating her. Mm -hmm. It's like what I can see right now is like I'm in like a, it's almost like a dungeon or something and he just keeps on repeatedly kicking me in the stomach. Mm -hmm. But that memory doesn't serve her now today, does it? No. Are you ready to release all that negative energy? Yes. So inner self, what I want you to do now. I want you to invite Archangel Serial now to come forward and allow them to go with you now into that stomach area and I want them to illuminate that area so that you can see what's going on and see them gathering up all that memory that doesn't serve she survived that life and that memory and we're ready to release it today and Zeriel will help you form loving relationships by using the power of forgiveness compassion and acceptance 
see her gathering all that negative energy now, all that emotion and all that pain. And I want you to forgive your father. Because he didn't understand what he was doing, did he? No. No. And once you forgive your father, see all those knots beginning to release, just like the chains of the past have been released and all the cords to the pain and the memories now have been cut. And allow Archangel Serial to go now, collecting all of those and see them gather them out of your tummy and take them back to spirit to be restored and replenished. So I want to call on, I want to call on Lady Narda as she works with you and your inner child. See her now healing the inner child. See how that stomach area now is being recalibrated. and feel her beautiful, soft energy as you overcome the pain and look to new beginnings. Very good. So, in the self, you've checked that body is there anything else we can work on on that body or shall I get to the questions no it was just the heart and the stomach mm -hmm. so I want you just to check over the heart and the stomach now in those areas and I want you to also I want you to check those chakras but I want you to just observe as if you're above the body now just tell me how are our chakras looking stomach is fine it seems like the heart still needs work but it's opened mm -hmm. but it still needs to be worked on and it seems like the throat chakra has opened as well like that seems like it it was closed but it's now open right so I'm going to call on the Ascended Master, Ganesh, now. And he's known as the remover of all obstacles. And what I want him to do now is, I want him to step forward. And I want you to imagine now that he is pushing his energy towards you. And as his energy comes closer and closer, it begins to activate those chakras. I feel those chakras going round in a clockwise direction. Very good. And see them getting faster and faster. And the faster they go, the brighter and brighter those chakras begin to illuminate. And the faster and faster and brighter and brighter they go. They, they become. See all the flecks that were holding them back, all those flecks of negative energy just flicking off the wheels of those chakras. See them now just flicking off as it goes faster and faster and brighter and brighter until all of your chakras are illuminating. And I want you to ask him now just to very slowly turn them back down to your optimum level and see how they are calibrated now 
and how the vibration in your energy is calm and confident, secure. Very good. So how's the body looking now? Feels more aligned. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask a few questions and I want to ask a question about these flashbacks that she keeps getting. The shadows are signs. The shadows are signs. Mm -hmm. What kind of signs? Tell me more. They're messages. Yeah. What is she to do with these messages? Use them. Mm -hmm. Is she able to understand these messages that you provide her? Not at the moment. So is she to write this down in a journal, ready for when she can understand? She's got to do more work first. What kind of work? Describe to me so we can actually be specific. She's, there's someone that I've got to find to work with. Mm -hmm. In what way? But there's, there's a person that I'm going to meet that's going to help me understand these messages, that they're going to teach me how to understand, like how to read them. And when you say there's a person that's going to teach her, I know time is of no relevance to you. Is that this year, next year, or the year, be, year after that? It, it feels soon, like it feels like it's coming soon. Mm -hmm. And how will she know that this is the right person? Can we have a sign so that she knows the right? it's the right time? She'll just know. Mm -hmm. Thank you.